What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how to create a kids colouring book fast and easy and just by using SVGs. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, we are going to be creating a kids colouring book and we're just going to be using SVGs. So this is a feature that Canva has. Now, there's a couple of things we're going to need first. First, we're just going to need the dimensions for the book. So we're going to be using tangent templates just to get those dimensions. So once you're in tangent templates, now this is a paid tool. I believe it's $59, a one-off payment. And it's definitely worth it because of all the cool features that they have. They have all these interiors down here and then some pretty cool tools here at the top. Now the tool that we're going to be using is the KDP Helper. I just had to pause the video for a minute because my alarm was going off because I'm actually up fairly early today. Anyway, let's crack on with this. So KDP Helper, this is the tool that we want. Now, we already know the type of book that we want to create, or you should know already the type, the size, and all of that. So for this instance, we want the 8.5 times 11. We want 100 pages, because 100 pages would be roughly around 50 illustrations in the book. Then we want white paper. That's what I always do my colouring books in. And then we want to use bleed. Now I always tick bleed because I never know how I'm going to design the interior. And I might end up wanting to have the illustrations go right to the edge of the page. So I always click yes. Now we're just going to click continue. And now tangent templates is going to spit out the dimensions that we want and then we can start creating the book. So now if we click on here to interior, scroll down, we're using Canva. So this is where we want the dimensions, 8.5, no, sorry, 8.625 times 11.25. So now if we came back over to Canva, we'd go to create new design, like that, and then we'd click custom size, and this, we'd tick that to change it to inches, and this is where we'd put those dimensions. Now I've already gone ahead and done that, so let me just open this. Here we go. And from here, we can start creating the book. Now what I've gone ahead and done is just put a little border round the outside. Now to get that, that's pretty simple. You'd come here on the left hand side, click on elements, and then you'd scroll down all the way to here, which is shapes and then you would just find the square. So I clicked on that, and then I made the border a little bit thinner by dragging that down like that, and then I just dragged the sides. So that's how I got this little border. Now from here, what we're going to need are some graphics, some SVGs. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just create a new folder here within Canva so that I can add the graphics into here. Now with creating folders, I do believe that you're limited to how many you can actually create in the free version of Canva, but I pay for the pro, so I have unlimited folders that I can create. Uh, create. Now why is this important? Well, this means that you can organize your graphics so much better. Anyway, let's just put in here, B, clip, art. Now I'm just going to do example as well so I know to delete this after I've done it. Now from here I'm just going to create folder and now we need to go over to Creative Fabrica or wherever you get your graphics. I like Creative Fabrica because this is where I get all my graphics and everything that I need for my book. Now if you click the link down below we do have a discount for the subscription here on Creative Fabrica, where I believe you can get it for around $20 per month instead of $29.99 per month. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click that link down below. 
Anyway, now we need the clip art. So for this instance, we're going to be creating like a B coloring book, a B coloring book for kids. So what we're going to need is some B clip art. So right off the bat, let's just type in B clip art. And then from here, we want to look for the SVGs. Now, why the SVGs or why are SVGs important? Well, this means you can actually customize the graphics all within just Canva, as you're going to see in a minute. Now, let's scroll through and see what we got. There's quite a lot, but I want a bundle. So something like this, apart from I don't want it the watercolor. So what I'm going to do is actually click through to their sellers page or their shop. Let's just give that a second to load up. This is a really great um, designer. I really like the graphics that they have and they actually do both. So from here, we can see they have the graphics and the black and white graphics or better known as digital stamps. Now let's actually just type in B on their shop because this way it's going to pull up all the B stuff. From here, we can see there's actually quite a lot. Now, this is the one that I'm interested in because as we can see here, it's the SVG. Now, most of the time when you find a seller, some graphics that you want, they don't have the option to have the black and white graphics as well, as you can see just here. So in this example, I'm just going to go ahead like and pretend that this one isn't here, and we're just going to use this. So let's open this up in a new tab. Remember, you always want those SVGs. This way, we can actually customize the graphics, whether it's in Canva or by using a third party software. Now we can see that I'm actually not logged in. So I am just going to pause the video for one second so I can quickly log into the website. There we go. Now, if we scroll down onto their listing, so let's scroll down a little bit more, we can see just here we have 15 SVG files. Now, again, remember, if you want to modify any of the graphics that you have, you need those SVG files or the EPS files. SVGs are better because we can just customize everything just within Canva, as you're going to see in just a second. So let's go ahead and download this. Let's just give that a second to download. As you can see, I've already downloaded this in the past. I've actually downloaded quite a lot from Creative Fabrica. Now, there we go, that's downloaded. And now we want to extract the folder and then upload to Canva. So there we go, here's the folder. Let's extract this if it's going to let me. There we go, extract just here. And now we want to go ahead and upload all of these into Canva. So let's just pull that up again. There we go. We have the JPEGs, the PNGs, one EPS and the SVGs. So right here, we want the SVGs, all of these. Now from here, let's just copy all of these and drag here into the folder which we just created. Now let's give that a second as well. And as you can see, they're coming through as graphics. Now, one thing I want to note really, really quick is it can be a bit of a hit and miss when using SVGs. For some reason, I don't really know why. And because I haven't really looked into it, not every single SVG that you download and upload into Canva will have the options to customize. So please remember that as well. If you go and download an SVG, upload it, and then you can't customize it, it's, I'm not too sure why. Again, it's a little bit of a hit and miss, but these ones I know that I can. So now we have all these SVGs here, we can go ahead and start creating coloring pages, which is really simple to do. So let's click on one of these. We've got that up now just here. We can go ahead and start creating coloring pages. And because we uploaded that SVG, we now have, if we look just here, the option to change the colors on the graphic. And this is why SVGs in Canva is absolutely awesome. Now, if I wanted to create a coloring page, all from these or a coloring book, I can now just change the colors. So let's change that to white. Let's change this one to white. And then let's do this one as well. And now, in fact, let's change that one to a dark gray. There we go. And now we have 
an image that can be colored in and it's the same with all of these so let's do another one let's move this down maybe make that a little bit bigger like that and then let's take this let's change all of these to white as well so let's do that white white and white and as you can see now if this was turned into an actual book over on kdp this can be colored in so this is absolutely awesome so now we can make that bigger maybe like that maybe make that one bigger as well position to the front and now we have that first coloring page so as you can see really really simple and easy now if i wanted to create a second page all i would do is duplicate then i'd take that off and then add some new graphics so we could do honey let's change all of this let's change that to white change that to white as well maybe make that bigger put that there and then maybe let's get this as well change this to black and white maybe flip around make bigger turn to the side maybe like that and then let's take some bees so let's take this one let's click on that again maybe move that like that maybe make it quite big there we go and now change everything to white bam bam Bam, and there we go. We now have another page that be that be no that can be coloured in. So I hope you can see just how simple this is. And from here, I would just keep duplicating the pages and make around 50 pages, which would then be around a hundred page book. Now, one note that I do want to say really quick as well is for the back page, I would simply duplicate and then completely take off maybe take that border off as well like so and then that way this blank page is the back to this and that way when kids are coloring in this there isn't any bleed through onto another coloring page because there's nothing on the back so i hope you understand that as well but that's it that's how simple it can be you want to find the svgs over here on creative fabrica and then with those svgs you want to upload them into canva and then that way we can make coloring books on the fly and it makes things so much easier but just remember that not every svg that you upload into canva is going to work i don't know why but hey ho now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.